You're about to learn how to quickly avoid making this big mistake that many students fall for on this problem, but only if you stick around until the end. So grab a mug in the description below, bring your drink into the dojo, and let's get started. For this asymptotic function or hyperbolic function, I'm gonna go ahead and graph it to show you what I mean. Remember for one over x, it looks something like this, but in this case, since we have one over x minus two, everything is shifted two units to the right. And this asymptote at x equals two tells us that we have a domain restriction there because you can't plug in x equals two into the original function since you'd be dividing by zero. Now this is a problem for our definite integral from zero to three because it includes this value of x equals two in that region. But luckily, because a definite integral is talking about the area under the curve, we can actually get around this because if you remember with areas, you can break them up into pieces and then add the parts up to still get the right answer. So I'm going to break up the original integral into two parts, one that's to the left of the asymptote at x equals 2 and one that's to the right. Now, by inspection, you might be wondering, hey, Dave, we still have the same issue because your limits of integration are still using that domain restricted value of 2. And you're correct, but you know what? There's a way we can get around that. I'm about to show you how. And before I do, if you haven't already and you're finding value in my videos, be sure to need to kick that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss my videos. And if you want to watch them early, you can become a member for just a dollar a month. So check out the description below because you'll also get some really awesome swag as well. So for this problem here, dealing with the left of the asymptote, what I can do now when I'm talking about the interval from zero to two is I can actually rewrite this as a limit. See, for the upper limit of integration two, I'm going to use the letter A here instead, and the limit's going to allow me to approach the value of two just from the left of it and to get really close, right? We're talking about values like 1.99995, et cetera. And you may already be able to do this integral in your head. If you can't, that's okay. This is a typical u substitution problem where you can let u equal x minus 2. And then when you integrate this, you'll get the natural log of the absolute value of x minus 2. And so we're going to evaluate this now from an upper limit of a down to 0, which is the lower limit. So when you plug in the upper limit of integration, we're now going to have the limit as a approaches 2 from the left of the natural log of the absolute value of a minus 2. And after plugging in x equals 0 for the lower limit of integration, this part on the right is just going to become a constant, right? There's no limit associated with it. But for this left part here, try some of those values now that are just under 2, like 1.9999, etc. When you take that value and you subtract two and take the absolute value of the result, this whole natural log is gonna be growing really, really large and very negative. And so if you take that and you subtract it from a fixed constant, this whole thing is actually approaching negative infinity. So it's divergent. And we're gonna use the same idea now to solve the other integral that's to the right of the asymptote. This time now, for the lower limit of two, we need to actually approach this by replacing that with the limit, right? Where we're going to use a again as the variable. And this time we're going to be going in the direction such that we approach two from the right. So same idea. I'm going to evaluate this integral to get the natural log of the absolute value of x minus two. And now when you plug in your upper limit of integration of three, just like before, this left part is going to become a constant. And then for this right part, we need to see what this behavior is as we approach 2 from the right, this time using values like 2.0001, etc. Now for the left, that's simple. That just becomes 0. And for the right now, just like before, this overall natural log is going to grow rapidly large and rapidly negative. But because we have a minus in front, the whole thing is yet again divergent, but now in the positive infinity direction. So to bridge everything together, the answer to this problem is that it's divergent. 